Alright, what's going on everyone on YouTube? NES Ruler. I uh, thought we'd come and do a uh, Blu-ray and DVD update today. Uh, I got some, uh, actually I have some VHS, some Laserdiscs, uh, some Blu-rays, and a DVD. Uh, I guess we'll get into the VHS first. I grabbed these all for a quarter a piece, which was pretty awesome. I know uh, my good friend Wet, uh, Wet Movie 1, aka Brendan Mitchell, just showed off his wrestling collection and uh just so happened I was able to score all these uh WrestleMania VHS tapes for a uh, quarter piece. So let's get into which ones I have here. So we got uh WrestleMania 9, WrestleMania 8, WrestleMania 15, WrestleMania 13, WrestleMania 12, WrestleMania 11, WrestleMania 10, First WrestleMania, WrestleMania 5, WrestleMania 4, and WrestleMania 2. So as you can see, I'm missing a uh, few uh, WrestleManias in between the uh, list, but for a quarter piece. I could not pass those up, guys. Uh, it's awesome having those. Uh, so, even though I have some of them on uh, DVD, I figured I'd grab them anyway. All right, let's get into the laser discs now. These were all a uh, dollar ninety-nine a piece. Sorry if I sound shitty. Have a cold. First, we have the Muppets Christmas Carol. Uh, I just grabbed this one because I love the artwork on this. Uh, I think it's pretty fantastic, and I love the back and. I haven't seen this Muppets movie, but I didn't have it in my collection, and I haven't been buying that many laser discs lately. So I grabbed it. There's the disc. So I really love that artwork. I thought this movie sounded pretty cool, and that's The Haunting from, uh... When did this come out? 19... 1963 starring uh, Julie Harris and Claire Bloom. I thought this seemed pretty cool, you know, in the early 1960 horror awesomeness that I didn't actually have in my collection uh, put out by MGM, so that should be cool. It's rated G, but that doesn't mean shit. That usually means it's pretty fun. So, seems like a fun ghost story. I just picked up the Frighteners just because I didn't have it in my collection, and... I haven't been buying that many laser discs, so I figured why not for two bucks. And finally, I finally added this to my collection. One of, one of my favorite comedy movies of all time, it's A Night at the Roxbury. Uh, this is a hard, a pretty not terribly hard to find uh, laser disc, but it's one of the later releases, so it's not that easy to find. And with this artwork, it's just, it's I love it. Um, it's pretty cool. I love the back. So, it's probably going to be my preferred way to see the movie now, even over the uh, DVD that I have. I just, I just love the uh, laser disc right there. If you guys want to know what I think about any of these movies, I watch everything that you see here in my DVD update, and I post it on Twitter after I watch it, and uh, I tell what I think about it. So if you guys want to follow me on Twitter, it's twitter.com slash NESRuler22, as you guys know. I really don't have that many followers on there, and I, and I use it. I watch a movie every day almost. So, you know, nobody really sees it, but I do it anyway just because I enjoy doing it. Like, I just finished watching, finally, the, uh, the Resident Evil series this week. Uh, I watched two of them a day, so it really only took me two days to finish them all, but... I have to go pick up the new steel book at Best Buy for the new one that came out today, but <coughs> what can I say about the Resident Evil series? Find out on my Twitter if you want to know what I thought about it. Just a single DVD, as you guys know, I picked up the Silent Night, Deadly Night Part 1 and Part 2. New Anchor Bay to this release set, which is awesome. Uh, if you guys want this before it goes out of print again, I'd buy it, pick it up. So, you actually have an official release of Silent Night, Deadly Night, and Silent Night, Deadly Night Part 2. I do have the Arrow release. I'm going to be giving it away in a contest sooner or later. Um, maybe after 
the New Year's, I'll start up a new contest for you guys. But um, these are just classic, 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 classic movies. And I had the Silent Night, Deadly Night Part 2 Laserdisc, which is really awesome. I love that Laserdisc. Uh, let's get into the uh, Blu-rays. Uh, I grabbed this yesterday. I figured, okay. So I saw The Hobbit. I saw the actually... Okay, we could talk about high frame rate. I saw The Hobbit IMAX high frame rate. Now, there isn't that many uh, IMAX theaters that are showing The Hobbit in a high frame rate. But luckily, I was able to find one. I had to drive about an hour away to see it, but I'm an IMAX freak. I, lo I love seeing everything on IMAX. And this high frame rate was uh, extremely sparked my curiosity, so I had to hunt down a uh, high frame rate IMAX camera. And by the way, I was looking at it. It seemed like they were taking two IMAX projectors and shooting it at, at the screen at the same time to create this high frame rate bullshit that they're trying to do. I th and that's why I think that's not that many, uh, <coughs> not that many uh, IMAX theaters are doing high frame rate because two IMAX projectors are pretty fucking expensive. But I think it's just a gimmick. I, I didn't think it looked that special. I think... It, some of the action scenes looked extremely fake. Now let me now let me make myself clear. It was the clearest picture I've ever seen in my life, hands down. It had the crispest image I've ever seen. But during the action scene, ah oh fuck, there was the light. During the action scenes, it just looked really fake and cartoonish. But that's enough of that. I enjoyed The Hobbit. I thought it was good, but it was not as good as the original trilogy. And here we have the extended Blu-ray edition of The Lord of the Rings, which includes. Some of these were scratched to shit, and it was brand fucking new. Brand new from Amazon, and it was scratched to shit. Now, I'm going to show you guys how much bullshit this is, but they sent me a new one. It's coming tomorrow. But uh, we're just going to take this DVD. I think this is the one that... I mean, look at that. You guys probably can't pick that up on camera, but... Brand fucking new, and look at that fucking scratch right across the fucking disc. Look at... Bullshit, man. I mean... Thank God it came from Amazon, so they're shipping me a new one tomorrow, but... How the fuck do Blu-rays get scratched? I don't understand. But, uh, I thought I'd just show you this anyway, since I'm gonna send it back, since they're sending me a new one tomorrow, but... We got The Fellowship of the Ring, The Two Towers, and Return of the King. These are the all extended cuts that are, uh, about three and a half hours each. Longer than that. Yeah, they're about three and a half hours. Three hours. Four hours. And, uh, they are each five disc sets. We got the Blu-ray Part 1. Each blu each uh, half of the movie is on a separate Blu-ray. You got Blu-ray Part 1, Blu-ray Part 2, and then you got three DVDs with bonus features, which is just crazy. Um, I can't even think about how many hours this is going to be. And then they all come with this uh, really cool little uh, paper. Look, look at that shit. Pissed me off when I order shit new, but really cool little booklet you got here opens up so it's a really really nice set for 40 bucks I think I paid for it. for 15 this I mean that's pretty cool score two towers same same spiel got the two blu-rays and the three DVDs and of course my favorite turn of the king two blu-rays and three DVDs. Really awesome series. I like The Lord of the Rings. I'm curious to see what they do with the rest of The Hobbit. Uh, Peter Jackson knows how to make his movies, I suppose, even though it's not the same as the Peter Jackson me and everyone else on here enjoys. Early, early Peter Jackson. Goodness. But that's The Lord of the Rings extended edition. This one's going back. I'm getting a new one tomorrow. And uh, let's get into the DVDs. We got uh, Resident Evil Afterlife. Uh, this one was pretty cool. I think this is my uh, second favorite in the series after Apocalypse. I think I said on my Twitter. But um, this one was cool. It takes place in a jail uh, in L.A. And uh, it's the fourth movie in the series. And it was alright. It's probably my favorite after Apocalypse, like I said. And uh, I checked this one out. The quality's alright and everything. This, uh, I picked this up on Black Friday for $3.99 on Amazon, so I couldn't pass that up. Uh, next, we have one of my favorite movies of all times, if you guys know. That's Bill and Ted's Excellent Adventure. It's finally hit Blu-ray. 
I hope they put out Boga's uh, journey. That would be pretty awesome. But uh, this movie is just an amazing, awesome 1990s, late 18, late 1980s, early 1990s comedy flick. Amazing. Some of the stuff they do in this movie, they would not be able to get away in a PG movie today. And, uh, 69, dude! You know, that's my favorite part of the whole movie. But, uh, really awesome, uh, release. I'm really happy with this quality. It's the best the film's ever going to look for sure. And uh, this was 10 bucks. Highly recommend you pick up. MGM's been putting out some good shit lately. Uh, I have this in DVD, but uh, Best Buy had it for uh, $9.99, so I decided to grab the Blu-ray. And that's the, uh, I think it's 2011 uh, amazing, 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 not masterpiece, but pretty close. And that's I Saw the Devil. This movie has this awesome shot in a taxi cab. You guys know what I'm talking about if you've seen this movie. That shot is fucking phenomenal. And uh, this is a fantastic uh, serial slash horror type movie. And uh, highly, 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 highly recommended. Put out by Magnet. So, you know, it's usually good shit. So, I was happy to grab that for ten bucks. Uh, here we have, uh, like I said, Silent Night. Uh, let's talk about Silent Night, I suppose. Now... This movie had some pretty badass kills in it, I have to say. Uh, this is one scene that plays tribute to Fargo. It doesn't play tribute to Fargo, but it copies one of its kills, if you guys know what I'm talking about, if you've seen this movie. That's probably the coolest kill in the whole movie. And uh, the gore effects were actually not that bad. I actually uh, enjoyed the gore effects. The movie itself, you know, it's a two and a half out of four star movie. It's not anything special. Um... It's not that bad of a remake. I, I enjoyed it for what it was. I wish I didn't have to pay $16 for it. But I guess I'm happy to have it to add to the series. It's pretty cool. And next we have one of the weirdest fucking movies I've ever seen in my life. That's Excision. Uh, this is a recently new movie put out by Anchor Bay. This movie is fucking weird as shit. And, um, my friend Willie Mark wanted to get Scotty on here. We were talking about this movie a little bit on Facebook, and this movie's just fucking weird. It's, but this girl has a sexual fantasy with, um, surgery, graphic surgery. She has this kind of fetish, and it's just really, this girl's really freaking weird, and she has these crazy-ass, trippy-ass dream sequences that are just freaking phenomenal and some of the acting in this is just top notch it has a uh, john waters and malcolm and Donald again in it and it's just really fantastic if you guys get a chance to pick this up you can get this at best buy ain't very hard to find i'd highly recommend you pick this one up if you like weird weird trippy fucking movies highly recommend this one there's the disc it may not be for everybody but i, I really enjoyed it so yeah, that's everything I picked up, guys. I um, hope everyone's having a great holiday season. Um, I hope everyone has a great Christmas and a Happy New Year. And I'll talk to you guys very soon. Remember me, if you want to follow me on Twitter, it's twitter.com slash nesruler22. I post on there every day about movies and other shit like that. And I shall talk to you guys very soon with, um, I don't know what I'm going to do next. Probably another out and about. Or a, a collection overview or something. I have, to, I have to switch some stuff up. So I'll talk to you guys very soon. Have a Merry Christmas. See you guys soon. <laughs>